Hello and welcome back. In this video, we will be looking at the echo command. So by the end of this video, we should know what the echo command is and then how to use it. So without wasting much time, let's learn Linux. So what does, what is echo and then what does it do? So what the echo does is to display the line of text that you provide to it. So basically it just echoes echo hello world or something so the use case or when it is needed or when we would have to use it is when we want to output the status of maybe a process into a screen or a file so basically we use the echo in mostly in our bash scripts to display the status of an ongoing process onto the screen or onto a file so let's say if I do sudo apt update updates right, which basically updates the uh your packages. Now we see that sudo password for setting. For the fact that you see this means that in the scripts for the update, if you use sudo right, it echoes the password for setting for you to see on the screen, right? So if I enter the password, then you see all these things that keep showing, they are being echoed to the screen. So that is, so the script that does this echoes the status. So you could see that here, it's counting the minutes, the time, and then tells you that it's waiting for the headers. And then this is the percentage that it's, it says. So this, you are seeing all these things because they are being echoed out for us. So now let's see the use case. So the structure of the echo command is you use echo the command, you pass some options to the echo command, and then the string, the thing you want to echo or the text you want to echo. So basically, if you, I want to echo hello viewer, all I have to do is do echo, and then I pass the string hello viewer to the screen. So if I let me wait for this. Okay, it's done. So all these things are because of the echo. So let me clear the screen. Now, if I want to echo hello viewer, I do echo and then I pass my quotations and then I say hello viewer. Hello viewer. So here you see that now we have a hello viewer here echoed to the screen for us. Okay. So here, Let's look at some of the echo options. So we have option E. Now this option E enables the interpretation of backslashes or escapes. So one way to look at it is that it extends the capability of the echo to accept some extra features or some pass slash escapes that we would look at very soon. And then we also have another option N, which removes a trailing new line from after the echo command, right? So after executing the echo command, if you pass the option N, it removes a new line from it. So why you can say echo, then option E, hello, then the tab world. And then you can also use the echo option N that. So let's look at it. If I say hello, echo, hello world, right? Here, we just see this. What if I try to add an escape, let's say tab or the backslash T? You see that here it brings a backslash T for me. But then I this backslash T means that the tab, a horizontal tab space. So in order to include or extend the option or the capabilities of the echo key, key command, I have to just pass the option E. Right. So if I pass the option E, then if I hit enter, now echoes, echo regards what the backslash T as what a space or a tab. I can also do this and then bring another extra T there. But then you see that now the space widens, right? Okay. But then you keep saying that when we run this command, what happens? 
this, then the SRM sniper here moves to the next line, right? But then if we don't want that, we want the echo to, let's say, this moves to the next line. But if we pass the option in, let's pay attention to what happens. Option in, you see that now after printing the hello world, my prompt moves to what or continues on the same line. It doesn't move to the next line, which means that by default, echo has a trailing new line at the end. That if you use the option end, it removes that trailing new line from the echo. So keep that in mind. Option end removes it. Without the option end, you get your new line there. Option E extends the capabilities by making you make use of the backslash escapes. Okay. So now let's look at some of the backslash escapes that the echo command provides. So you can use backslash N for inserting new line. We can use backslash T for inserting horizontal tab. That's the spaces as you saw earlier. We could use backslash B to insert vertical tab, which we would be seeing any moment from now. And then backslash B for backspace. So if for some reason you want to maybe de be deleting every letter by letter, you can use backslash D B for that. So echo option E, hello, backslash T world will space out the world, the hello world. And then backslash N will put the be happy on a new line. And then this same thing would, the backslash B here would remove the S. So let's see. So if I have, let's delete this. And I said echo option E to extend the capabilities of echo. And I say hello world backslash T world. Then I decide to put a backslash N there, which is that it's supposed to, the next thing I'm going to type should be sent to a new line and I can have be happy, be happy. So now we see that we have hello world, then be happy moves to the next line. So basically that's that. <clears throat> so we have hello world and then be happy. So I can choose, let's say for instance, I make a mistake and then I say hello world S and I want to remove it. I can do backslash B. Now this backslash B should remove this S. First, let's do it without the backslash B. We see that hello world S, be happy. We don't want this S. So you can just add the backslash B here to do what? Remove the S for us. So that's the backspace. That's what the backspace does. So you have hello world that. So how do we use the vertical tab? So let's say I want to echo, extend the option of echo, and then I say hello, set them, or I am set them. I am set them. And then now I want to move to the next line. So I do vertical tab. And then I am the better form of awesome, of awesome, something like this. If I hit enter, this is what happens. I am setting on one line and then the next line, it gives a tab, that's a vertical tab and then continues. I am the better form of awesome in the next line for me. So basically this is what the, backslash V does, that's the vertical tab. And then the backslash edit option E extends that capabilities for us. So those are some of the backslash escapes for the echo symbol or command. Now, what, of what use would the echo be if we keep just echoing, echoing on the screen? We already see, of course, we already see what we are doing, right? And as I said, we use this to output the logs or the processes, right? How or things that are happening. So in order to do that, we can use the redirect symbol, the redirect command to redirect the outputs, right? Of the echo command into a file, 
right? So if you want to redirect the output of the echo command, you can use a greater than sign or double greater than sign to redirect this hello viewer into a file called greetings.txt. And then if we choose to extend this or the same thing, and then use a double greater than sign, this will append be happy and be safe to this file. So it means we would have hello viewer and then be happy and be safe. Let's look at that. So if I have echo this, let's see, echo hello viewer, hello viewer, like this, it brings it to the screen, but we don't want that. I want a situation where it what displays or it puts this text into a file. So if I check here, I see only a certain directory in the cinematic directory. So let's see what happens. If I do echo hello viewer, and then I bring one greater than sign, and I say greeting, greetings, sorry, dot txt, right? And I hit enter. If I do ls, I see a new greetings.txt here. If I cut that file to look at the contents, you see that we have the hello viewer inside the greetings.txt, right? What if I said, okay, aside the hello viewer, I want to add the I am sedem and I'm the better form of awesome to that. If I should do this back to the greetings file, let's look at what happens. Pay, pay attention that I use one greater than sign here. If I hit enter and I cut my greetings, you see that now I, I just have the I am sedem. I'm the greater, better form of awesome. Instead of just having the hello viewer and this. So to prevent that, let's redirect the hello viewer back into the greetings. When I cut, I should see the hello viewer there. Now, if I want to append, I don't want to overwrite, but then I want to add this one to this list so that I would have the hello viewer and then the I am the sedem and the others there. All I have to do is come back here and change the single greater than sign to double greater than sign. So this will append the echo, the content of the echo to this file. So if I should hit enter ls, I see only just one file. And I cut that file. You see that now I have hello viewer on one line. And then I am sedem, I am the better form of awesome on another line. So basically, that is how we redirect the contents of the echo. But in my when we did it, we didn't see the output on the screen. So it means that instead of echoing to the screen, that is the, the basic output. It does what? It echoes into a file. Keep that in mind. Or the standard output. So instead of showing us to the standard output, it decides to what? Display it or echo it into a file. So that is how we redirect the echo, the output of the echo command into any file we are interested in. So in the next video, we would look at the grep command and then how to use it to do some interesting things in our files. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and share with your friends so that they could also learn from this video. We can't wait to see you in the next one. Thank you.